Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is technically part four of Jeffrey's go-kart build, but it's also a how-to on how to install, like properly install a heat wrap on your exhaust. And now that could be for like cars, motorcycles, ATVs, go-karts, like what we're doing. Yeah, let's get into it. It's a pretty simple process. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. And then, when, um, you know, feel like sticking around more. We do have some other things that we're gonna do to Jeffrey's go-kart. One of those things being the steering wheel um, because we have not yet like cut off that like aluminum piece that was on it. So once we get that off, we're gonna put on the new steering wheel and be able to like move the chassis around. I haven't talked to Jeffrey yet because he's in a, uh, he's like talking to like one of his sisters on the phone. And um, he said that the pedal should have came in yesterday. So hopefully they did, so then we can link up all the like the throttle cable, the brake cable, and like have this thing ready to like drive the next time, or in like the next time you guys see it, which would be like in another video. So yeah, we're gonna get to work. So let's get to it. So right now, Jeffrey kind of has it pushed off to the corner right here. So now that his mom moved uh, the car, I'm a move it in here so then we have a little bit more space and room to uh, work on it. Yeah. All right, so for this um, heat wrap install, we're gonna have to, so, Jeffrey and I switched exhaust, so this was initially on my go-kart and I heat wrapped it, but as you can see, when I had it on my go-kart, the seat would like tear it up just from like turning it on because that's just what happened. Oh my God, it does not want to focus. There we go. I traded exhaust and I'm going to heat wrap mine, but we're going to heat wrap, reheat wrap uh, Jeffrey's so then, you know, we don't have to worry about it. And it's kind of a two-person job uh, just because like, Supposedly making sure the huh Supposedly. wait where's the um because i mean how can you hold it like tight on there and zip tight at the same time no because you can't do that with the metal zip tie you have to like no 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 where's the zip ties by the way uh they're in this box are they yeah, but not the zip ties we need. The zip ties that we need are in this box right here, which you can get for $15 off Amazon. Oh, uh, sponsorship. I wish it was a sponsorship. So, comes with gloves to do it. Re redo it, whatever that is. Um, we have the heat wrap it's right just here. Like I know, I know. Start going at it. Um, and then these are the metal zip ties. And these. Dude, I don't know. Can you shut it, man? No, no, we don't need sass right now. Jeez, okay. So, yeah, these metal zip ties are okay. a pain in the butt, so. Wait, you just want like to cut the metal one or this? Yeah, the metal ties? one. The metal one? How else are you gonna get it off? It's definitely not. That's like tight on there, dude. I know, that's how it has to be. Did you put this on here? Was Dude, it? and I did. And there's no way to get this on otherwise. I like how it's just like. <laughs> I know. Dude, it looks like a like a wound that someone just like, and then their like body skin just starts flaring out. Did you say happy birthday to Keegan? I did. Okay, good. How did how did you like? All right, we're gonna get back to you guys. Oh, I need to, are you recording this? I am. Can you stand back a little bit so you can get... God, I'm dude. A, I'm gonna rely on you for some footage also. Okay, come on. Oh, dude. That thing flung around. Now you gotta get that sucker off. Can we, can, can, can actually just like screw this off? Or... There you go. 
Now let's put on the new one. I wish I had my tripod, otherwise I'd just set this up, but I don't have my tripod. Anymore. That's tough. I actually need to use my camera, so. So typically people will like fold it right here because otherwise it'll fray. Yeah, if you want to use a lighter, you can just burn that off. You sure? Yeah. And you're gonna like put it as far over as you can, right? And then now we're just gonna start wrapping it over so it. Wrap it. Yeah. So like as tight as possible, right? Mm -hmm. You wanna like- I, I would do one full loop over it. All right, so I just put on the zip ties with the help of Gavin just to make sure we keep it tight. And then I'm gonna put the metal ones on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little more permanent, so a little more sturdy. Oh, and they won't melt. They won't melt because it's extreme heat and it's just like a safer way to ensure that this stays on. So let's get to it. Okay, so basically to put on the metal zip ties. You just like do this and like squeeze it? No. So watch, put it around. Like this? Uh, let me see. Yeah, like that. Okay, so, so far like normal zip ties. Yeah. Put it in. So you feed it through, it's but tight. then once it, it is? Yeah. Ours were not like that. Ah! But we got the same package. Okay, just put it on, I guess. Here, can you hold it? Because typically, like, what you use, you just like snip them right here. Oh, you can, you can like bend it, right? You like bend and twist. Yeah. Like that. All right, let me try. Yeah, yeah. Like that's it. Right. Oh, just took okay. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. It is already done. I gotta do it for the camera, dude. Make sure. Just do another one. I could just do this side again. Make sure it's really tight. Okay, so now we're probably gonna put one more right here, and then probably another one right here. So we're gonna one. take off one of these, uh -huh. and then we're gonna take this one off. Take this so one off. Or should let's I do this one first. Okay. So let's do this off. end one right here. Now, the heat wrap on the exhaust is done. Yeah! That's what it looks like. Completed. Nice to not have it fraying from right here. Yeah, this guy, yeah. Yeah, so, now that that's done, we're gonna work on the steering wheel and some other stuff, like the spoiler, I think. We're gonna work on the spoiler, too. And, yeah. But I was able to, after adrenaline for forever and break a bunch of bits, mm -hmm able to finally oh get this thing off is that gonna fit yeah i hope so it looks thinner than i thought but yeah this was causing a lot of problem this guy right here um so but finally you go get the wheel Unless they just... Oh, I, I... First of all, I want to clean it. This is dirty. Seems funny. Alright. 
Um, so just to try and like, before I put this on, you can see me, there we go. Um, we just put, just got this piece and then this piece. You got, you got this piece for me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Gavin got, had this piece laying around his place, place his old go-kart that didn't fit. So he used it for this one and he just screwed in. There's a washer and a knot, he just screwed in. And then we can screw it in, like make sure it's tight after, but here we go. Go a little bit further. A little further. Oh, we have to line it up. Yeah. It's almost there. Just keep twisting it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's good going past. Oh. <laughs> okay, get the bolt. All right, where's the bolt? <clears throat> I don't know. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Let's take that nut off. Oh, the, yeah, the nut off. This one right here. Yeah. Okay, guys. So basically, what we did was. Jeffrey managed to cut off the um, this metal piece that was on there for the stock steering wheel, as you can see, and we pried it off. And so we got um, the new hub on, just thread the bolt through it, and then now I'm gonna tighten the rest of these bolts um, so then the steering wheel is on there nice and snug. Um, because of the position of the old bolt hole for the um for the stock steering wheel the um the steering wheel isn't straight so probably i got it you got, oh, you got it in already or what? yeah it's already there you just have to tighten these um so basically we're probably just gonna drill that? another hole was the wrong side what no no i just put it through here and then i forced it through. why is it not lined up because the position, uh, that's how I was explaining to the camera, is that the position for the bolt hole for the previous one was just straight across. But this one is typically on like go-karts like mine, it's angled. So then it would hold it straight. Yeah. So we'll probably drill another bolt hole later. I just said for now, we're gonna keep it like this though. So. Tighten the steering wheel down and the steering wheel will be uh, complete. So he's gonna work on the spoiler while I clean up the body because we have all these like metal shavings. Because 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 we have all these metal shavings and broken drill bits as you can see all these. Yeah, it's, it's just bad, it's just nasty. It's what we've done and what we're still working on um, we got the steering wheel on um, which is huge we still have to um, we drill it in a new position because as you can see the uh, when you straighten the wheels the steering wheel is not straight so um, that's something we're gonna have to work on later um, but the main thing we did today was put on the, um, the heat wrap on the exhaust, which looks super good and it'll hold up really well, uh, with all the metal zip ties. So that was a huge plus. And then currently still standing the spoiler so it can be flat. And then he's going to respray the, the sides orange. And then once that's on, um, all that's left is to hook up the cables to some pedals um, because before it was driven by like some hand pedals and so once we link those up um, and put on an RPM gauge um, 
That should be it. We should be able to start it up and go for a first test drive, which is huge because this thing has gone or like come a long way, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from this. So I hope you guys are excited to see this thing officially running, driving, etc. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.